Well, week seven of the NFL season is upon us, ladies and gentlemen. It's upon us. It's almost here. Yes, I know. Crazy stuff, right? Uh, but yeah, going to be interesting to see how everything goes as the 72 Dolphins get to celebrate once again as there are no more undefeateds in the NFL. And the Jets defense, no Sauce Gardner. They pick off Jalen Hurts three times, and they beat the Philadelphia Eagles. And then you know, the 49ers, they lose CMC injury. They lose, I think they lost Debo injury as well. Brock Purdy, he only had 125 yards passing. Just a really good Browns defense. Yeah, I know there was some officiating stuff, but that's every week with the officials. We know this. Ref ball does not discriminate. The same old saying I've been saying all these years on YouTube. Ref ball does not discriminate. It doesn't matter who your team is. Ref ball is ref ball. So, you know, if you get screwed over, it's fine. It, it happens. It happens. Just play better. Really, that's what the 49ers should have did, is just play better football. Yet they got stymied for almost the game against the Browns defense. It gets P.J. Walker of all guys, too. Crazy. Crazy stuff. Um, you know, C.J. Stroud, he finally threw a pick. Again, that was a question I asked last week. I, I, I told you, I told you, was he going to throw a pick against the Saints? It was likely. It was likely that he did, but it didn't matter because the Texans beat the Saints. They beat the Saints. And the Texans are actually, you know, in a good position, which is crazy to think about. The Texans are in a good position, which is crazy to think about. Um... Another team that's in a real good position is Jared Goff and those Detroit Lions just firing on all cylinders, five and one. Um, yet again, you know, Anzalone, Hutchinson, you know, the weapons on offense. St. Brown came back, you know, from injury last week. He's back in the lineup at, you know, James Williams. I mean, it was just it's just been a show for the Detroit Lions. So far this year, man. AR5, unfortunately, he's done for the year. There was a lot of injuries, you know. There's been a lot of injuries that happened in week six. Like, Ryan Tannehill got hurt. You know, uh, you know, Justin Fields got hurt. You know, CMC again got hurt. And who knows how long he's going to be out. Um, yeah, I mean, there's just injuries all over the place. You know, the Bears... They're putting another guy who I don't I don't even know who this guy is. I don't even know who the quarterback is. Um, uh, yeah, it, it's it's that bad for the Chicago Bears. Um, you know, AR five's done for the year, and Gardner Minshew had to step in, and he got picked apart by the Jags. Three big picks. You know, Burrow. You know, at least Joe Burrow is healthy. Bengals get a tough win. Cowboys get a tough win. A defensive slugfest. You know. Um, I don't want to see the Broncos in prime time again. I'll, I'll say that much. Terrible performance. I think if Russell Wilson even have a hundred yards passing, I, I don't. I don't think he did. Uh, yeah, this is horrible. Horrible game, man. Um, if you watch the Broncos Chiefs, if you watch that game. I pour, pour, pour one, pour one for yourself. Pour a glass of wine for yourself. Because my goodness, that was horrible. You know, Ravens, they, they win, they puzzle me, you know, continually. But, you know, they the Ravens win. I mean, that that's definitely a thing. So, you know, there's just a lot of things. And then, of course, New England is terrible, too. You know, there's just a lot of terrible teams. And I think it's really because of defenses being a thing again. Defenses have really just been good this year. Really good. I'm liking that. I'm liking that a lot. Um, so yeah, week seven, I have a few things I need to look out for. I think, I think there's a few things we all need to look out for. You know, Trevor Lawrence and the Jags have had a nice winning streak that I've been watching them go through the games in London last week against the Colts. You know, really good win streak, and they got to keep it going against the Saints defense. This is really good. So, you know, uh, the way tra with the way Travis Etienne is playing, with the way Christian Kirk is playing too, uh, Ridley's been kind of inconsistent. Defense has been playing good, you know. Josh Allen and, uh, and the rest of the rest of the boys for the Jags, uh, and again the Saints have a really good defense. You know, Eric Carr isn't he's doing okay, but I mean it's not like it's not like anything to really you know uh, it's not really anything to 
you know, get excited for. It's really about the defense of the Saints. Falcons Bucks low key interesting to me. Um, it's a game I'm definitely going to keep my eyes on as you know, the Cowboys are off this week, and you know Skip Bayless and company continue to talk about the Cowboys for like two hours on a daily basis. And I'm, I'm seeing the storyline on Twitter, and it's like, or I saw the tweet earlier today, and it's like, well, why are we talking about the Cowboys? There, there's other teams out there in the NFL, and we all know. Well, all know guys like Stephen A. Smith don't watch the games either because, you know, there's also the Tua Jalen matchup. Tua Takabailoa, Jalen Hurts, Miami versus Philadelphia, A.J. Brown, Tyreek Hill. They look to feast on these defenses. This, you know, Eagles defense is definitely better than Miami's, but if there's anybody that can cook, <laughs> The, the Eagles defense with long bombs, not two yard passes, Stephen A. Long bombs. It, it, it's definitely Tyreek Hill. Um, so, yeah, that is going to be a good one in prime time. Uh, and we don't know how long Deshaun Watson will be out. I, I don't even know, but if, if, if it continues to be so, I want to see if PJ Walker can continue his success against the Colts. He had a really good you know game against the 49ers for the most part. You know, made some mistakes, but he played efficient enough to where the, to where the Browns could win. So, um, you know, that that's something that we have to look out for. Lamar Jackson, again, has to bring his A game against the Lions defense. That front seven is elite. And, you know, there, there's another interesting matchup as Cooper Cup is just going to go against the Steelers defense. He is going to be all over the field, and you've seen that if you've been – You've seen that Cooper Cup has come back, and he's got a 100-plus yard game. Oh, he's got a couple 100-plus yard games already. I mean, man, has been on a tear already. Could be a nightmare for the Steelers' defense. And we got another Mahomes-Herbert duel. Will this be close yet again? We'll find out. We will find out as that's all I got. For week seven again, you know, a little bit small slate as teams are starting to get their buys and stuff like that. So, you know, and there's still some teams that are just very, very bad. There's just a lot of bad teams in the NFL this year. And again, that's due to defenses, I think, being the things that they are. So week seven is going to be very interesting. We'll see how everything plays out. You know, no more undefeated. The 72 Dolphins can get the champagne bottles out and celebrate yet again. And the road to the Super Bowl, the road to Super Bowl 58, continues to be something, something straight out of a, a straight out of a storybook because it's it's going to be a wild ride, a wild ride from start to finish, and we're still in the middle section of our story, but hey, we're getting there, we're getting there, y'all. So yeah, definitely again, watch out for that to a. Uh, Talk about Loa Jalen Hurts duel in prime time on Sunday night. It's gonna be one hell of a game. One hell of a Sunday, you know. I would I would say stray away from Monday night, even though it is, you know, the 49ers bounce trying to bounce back against Minnesota. It's still a very inconsistent Minnesota team. And, you know, there's all sorts of wonky things that could work out in Minnesota's favor, uh, depending on how those injuries go out and everything like that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna avoid that game entirely. But yeah, we have a we have a good Thursday night game. We have a good slate on Sunday somehow, so everything's gonna work out. And Monday night game, even though it's not as interesting to me, it's still pretty interesting. In any case, so week seven, it's almost here. We got less than twenty four hours until it starts. So y'all take care. I will see y'all later. Uh, I'll see, actually see y'all on Sunday. We gotta talk some. NBA on Sunday. I want to talk the NBA. Yes, the NBA. I, I did I gotta indicate that the NBA would. Did I indicate that the NBA would come back? Oh, uh, I'll, 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 talk, I'll talk about it in the community post. But yeah, see y'all later and have a good night.